So I see someone's put a post up in their community post showing concerns for a missing man, Danny Leeds. Some of these YouTube beefs is going to come to a, a tragic ending, a real proper bad ending. Um, whoever's got a beef that these are better off just sorting it out and um, like men, rather than going back and forth on the internet. I noticed some of the comments because he's a somebody's fan um, getting a, a little overly concerned. The person's a human being at the end of the day. Um, whether he's siding me, whoever or no. Again, I'll give a prime example. Um, when I was younger, you know, me and my, one of my, my wee mates was speaking about this the other night there. When I got taxed, not taxed, but when I got handed um, almost 30 grand worth of fake money, um, he, he says, I remember, he phoned up a boy and they came down a transit van in the 20s and we all went over to look for the boy, ended up in the ring address we went to. Fast forward a few years, because I was gunning for this boy, and then um, fast forward a few years, I was in prison, the same hall as him. And every weekend, uh, my, my, my cell was always the, the busiest cell between West Lothian, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Ayrshire boys, we all sat together in my cell every weekend playing the computer. And they all kept saying to me, Ken, they were all like to get this boy on revenge. But I, I, as years went by at this point, beef never dies, right? But when you mature and get older, you say to yourself, right, like, there I'm sitting with 15, 20 my, my, my people. You know, he could get heavy done. But I could go and in prison a year later. He's in my 20 his pals. So the beef's never going to end. So you stay in your lane, I stay in my lane, and let it just slide by. It's different when it's personal, if it's a family member or something like that, then it's different. But YouTube, this guy down the leads, I don't know who he is, but it might be the quietest guy in the world. It might be a nobody, it might be a... a, just a, a Ken. So, so some innocent people are going to get murdered or taken away or shot, stabbed. There's going to be families grieving, so I really think, I really think the people should um, stop taking the YouTube beefs too seriously. And if they are going to do it, they should do it behind the scenes, so other people won't get dragged into it. That's just my opinion, and I'm just speaking through experiences because obviously I've been caught in a lot of beefs with a lot of different people and a lot of proper gangsters. And I'm not like trying to show off when I say that because there's nothing, there's nothing good about that. Like one night. I had to leave my flat, my boy, and boys say, my um, Hamilton tried to get my door in. It was three of them, six foot three, bar carvers, big nice. It was a scary moment. But um, a week later, I had to meet these people, and uh, it was a misunderstanding. But these guys were planning on going through my door. Regardless of my kid being there or not, they were coming through that door. And I had to go meet them one week later and show them evidence that I had nothing to do with some sort of thing that went wrong. So, it's crazy what people can get caught up in on social media. Because we know social media behind the screen and then reality kicks in and you're in front of that person, then it's a whole different. It's just different. People need to understand that.